Do you know Amazon has a program that not only encourages you, but also pays you out for sales made from off Amazon traffic? I'm talking about the brand referral bonus. There has been lots of discussion about it, but nothing of substance. In this video, I will show you how to set up the brand referral bonus. So if you're interested in getting this brand referral bonus from Amazon, stay tuned. I'm Rick Wong and Amazon Sano, and also the marketing manager here at Landing Cube. And if you are interested in content such as this one, where we geek out on anything Amazon, I invite you to subscribe. Okay, so before we start, uh, you know, let's head over to uh, the brand referral bonus uh, landing page. So the brand referral uh, bonus landing page is uh, basically like right over at, uh, if you actually go to your uh, console, uh, it would be under um, the nav bar, under the brands, and you go to like brand referral bonus. This is the landing page. So let's get a few things straight. So there are a few requirements that is needed for to register for a brand requirement. So the number one thing that you must do is to have your brand brand registered. So to get your brand brand registered, you know, have to get your uh, logo or trademark uh, registered with a like, government trademark office. In the US, that would be the USPTO. So if you actually want to like uh, go through that process, go to like brand registry, right? So that would be the Amazon brand registry link. And then uh, step through the process. Quite simply, when you actually have your brand registered, it's a very simple process. You just give them your serial, your brand serial number, and then you're off to the races. The second requirement that you would need is the Amazon uh, Attribution Console. So as you can see, the only way to measure your brand referral bonus is through the Amazon Attribution uh, Console. That would be uh, under your Amazon Ad Account, and then you go to uh, Measurement and Reporting. That is uh, where this uh, Amazon Attribution Console lie. Or you can actually go through the nav bar, and then if you go to um, Advertising, uh, go to uh, Campaign Manager, and then once you're at Campaign Manager, you'll be in the screen right here, and then you go to Measurement and Amazon Attribution. So if you have an Amazon Ads account, the chances are you'll probably have an Amazon Attribution uh, account as well. So I think this part you don't really need to worry too much about. So uh, once you actually get to the Amazon uh, attribution um, uh, homepage, it would look like this. So this is where uh, things get interesting and I haven't seen too much information out there that shows you actually how to like set up this uh, off Amazon with the Amazon brand referral attribution. And uh, yeah, so this video I will step you uh, through step by step. But before that, uh, let's uh, go further to like a brand referral bonus landing page to kind of see uh, the details of it, like how how we will get paid out, how much we would get paid out, and when. So if you actually go to the landing page, um, again, you're gonna create an Amazon attribution tag on your Amazon attribution account. So what this tag does is that it allows Amazon to track your off Amazon traffic that whether they have actually purchased the product on Amazon. So that is their attribution, the way to attribute the performance of your campaign. And then lastly, how are you gonna receive the bonus? It's a bonus, it's not a cash payout. So what happens is that it will give you a credit on your referral fees on Amazon. Yeah, so it'll be paid out uh, once every, after two months, right? Basically the sales are made uh, two months after the sales are made and then uh, because this way it allows for them to attribute any cancellations or returns right so two months more than enough um i guess from what they're saying uh, so let's just say you run this campaign in january you probably won't ex uh, expect any type of payout uh, or credit until uh, March. And then uh, how will bonus use? Order ID where the bonus was used to credit referral fees. Okay, so it would uh, basically for um, I, for any orders that are purchased off of Amazon, they would credit the referral fee for that particular purchase. So that's what seems to be happening. And then you can see in my particular account right here, I've already had brand referral set up for a while now. And if you actually download the report, it, the report would look like this, right? And it would tell you like, these are like the campaign names. And I mostly ran this campaign from Google Ads. And you can see the sales that are coming from the off Amazon traffic. And then the actual brand referral bonus that I'm getting credit with. And then the corresponding dates. Uh, and then you, interesting stat that you could uh, also look into. You also look at like detailed page views, add to cart, purchase, and also um, unit sold sales. These are actually pretty good information because you could actually attribute your conversion rate for these particular um, off Amazon funnels. For example, if I were, want to just like see how my, what is my overall status for this particular campaign, um, some purchase count divided by page view, that is my conversion rate. 
So it seems my conversion is 6% for this off Amazon. Time. Not so bad because uh, as you know, with you know, DTC non Amazon based um, conversion rate, uh, 2.5 normally in the DTC world is actually considered good. So this campaign is actually running really, really well. And don't forget, we also get like a 10% referral bonus as well. So the ROI, if you actually calculate the A cost of this, no, I can't calculate A cost because I don't, I don't have my Google ad console to see the spend. But uh, let's just say my A cost on the Google ad size, like say 50%, right? And then you add in like the brand referral bonus, the A cost would be like actually a lot, a lot less than the 50%, more like like close to 45 or like low 40s. So for like a high A cost campaign, and it actually could lower it to like a number that makes more sense. So that's the power of the brand referral bonus. Okay, another th important thing to note is that uh, if you actually look back at the brand referral bonus, um, I think it actually add this in a bit later. Uh, before it says that you can actually use both uh, brand referral bonus and the Amazon associate program together. But it seems like they updated this like maybe like earlier this year saying that you can enroll to both pro program, but you are not permitted to receive benefits from both program. I recall uh, back like uh, maybe last year, that you can actually do this together. So maybe there's just people out there that are just really uh, taking advantage of uh, the double dipping of this, like using these two programs together. So maybe that's why they kind of add this uh, wording uh, over here. Kind of makes sense. And then lastly, you could also set up the brand referral um, bonus uh, and Amazon, Amazon attribution uh, to your Amazon store. So it doesn't even have to be on a particular Amazon uh, product uh, listing page, it could be like your brand store URL. So that's another way that you could also uh, send your customer to, right? Instead for a particular product, you could send them into your store that shows an entire catalog of your product. So that would also make sense as well. Okay, so let's go over the Amazon attribution, um, you know, um, how it's set up. So I'll show you my existing setup. Uh, so I don't, uh, I'm not gonna go over it uh, details by details. Uh, but uh, in terms of Amazon attribution, I already have this set up. So you can see like my campaigns here. And then within these campaigns, I have my Amazon attribution tags. Okay, so you uh, want to go to the attribution tag. So you see like the attribution tag uh, right here. You are uh, more or less gonna plunk them as your destination URL in your um, Google ads or whatever um, off Amazon advertising campaign that you are running. Once everything is like um, set up and running, you could see the number slowly being attributed on the actual main Amazon attribution screen right here, right? So you, in this like particular uh, setup, you could see it like the actual sales attributed to this off Amazon campaign. And then you see like the attributed brand referral bonus, right? The 733. And then as well, uh, you know, it would correlate with the report that you would see on under the brand referral landing page. So that's more or less uh, how it is uh, set up on a high level. Okay, let's show how the brand referral bonus, how it's actually set up exactly. So you can create a campaign. Uh, so I've been using uh, Amazon Attribution quite a bit. Another tip is that make sure that for every channel, every single campaign that you run, for example, uh, if you run want to run a Reddit, a YouTube, email, or maybe Facebook, these like separate channels, make sure that you create a different campaign out of them. For this, it allows you better attribution and also allows a better set of organization. It just really helps you scale. So let's just say uh, for me, uh, I like to say, um, I just wanna list the actual uh, channel first. Uh, so I would say, um, say email. And then you can select a product here. As I mentioned, you could also use uh, Amazon store. Uh, so at the end, you could have like that click through URL and you could plunk your Amazon store or your product listing page uh, right here. So for in this example, I'm gonna use my product landing page. And here I will use um, like ad group name. So I would just call it um, group. Uh, funnel email funnel one and then the particular publisher so select a public publisher so for me it would just like a plain old email so if the publisher is actually not here you guys should say new so i'm going to put like email list and then select a channel so under email and then you could select your your destination url and then once you say create that will create the amazon attribution link and that is the link that you will use as your destination url uh, for the off Amazon traffic audience to land on your product listing page. And that is basically the way for Amazon to attribute this particular brand referral bonus. So you can see like the Amazon attribution tag is created. And this is like the tag I would use in my email campaign. So let's just say I have a, a large list of customers and I'm saying to them on, the, on my email list of say like 2000 people, uh, for this like baby mail, I'm having like a two, uh, 
you know, 50% off or something like that. And, uh, you know, if you want to redeem that, I'll give them a coupon code and then send them to the listing page using this link right here. And once that's done, you know, uh, if anyone have actually purchased the item, any attributed purchases will number one appear on this dashboard right here. And uh, you can see like the campaign that I created it would show up as like a product sales and also the corresponding brand referral bonus, which is 10% of like the purchase price of the product. Okay, um, you know, there are different ways for you to uh, use the brand referral bonus. Um, you know, that great thing about this particular program is this flexibility. You can run off Amazon traffic from any source. And basically, as long as it's relevant to your product, Amazon will be happy with the traffic and the plus side of it is that you could actually get a sale. So if you actually read the tea leaves on Amazon, I think nowadays the main uh, Amazon SEO factor is probably off Amazon traffic sales, right? So it's important to get on Amazon uh, sales from say on Amazon traffic, but Amazon is really, really pushing this initiative. And if I were to read the tea leaves, I'm quite sure that there is quite a bit of SEO bump to it if you run this type of campaign for your product. If I were to actually start selling like right now uh, in the middle of 2023, I think my first campaign is to figure out the off Amazon campaign before running any, any type of Amazon PPC or um, any like on Amazon uh, traffic initiatives. So I would try my best to figure out my uh, off Amazon traffic maybe, Maybe if it's YouTube, um, influencers, TikTok, Google AdWords, and also Facebook ads first before I actually start on my um, Amazon PPC campaign. Why I want to do that? Because, you know, if you actually could figure those off Amazon traffic um, channels out, basically you're light years ahead of your competitors already. So now that you actually turn on your Amazon PPC after you have all your off Amazon traffic set up, it would give you this huge boost on your listing that your competitors probably could not figure out and would push you to the top of the ranking and keep you there for the foreseeable future. So that is probably the way that I would strategize using a brand referral bonus if I have to start a brand now in 2023. Okay, now how about we set it up with Landing Cube? So let's just say, uh, let's let's look into Landing Cube. Landing Cube is a landing page building software uh, that allows you to basically uh, create Amazon specific landing pages and allow you to kind of collect emails and also maybe uh, drive um, any promotions that you want on your Amazon product. The pricing is um, starts at $79 a month, but if you do annual, it's like $29 a month um, annualized. And it's also a 21-day free trial, so it's more than enough time for anyone to uh, just uh, give it a try. So the beauty about using a landing page is that it creates a much more valuable funnel. How about you're able to collect um, an email from your audience while you run this uh, brand referral bonus campaign? Wouldn't that be amazing? I mean, you could continue to build your email list, make the sell off of Amazon, get the brand referral bonus. So uh, running this with a, with a landing cube uh, landing page makes a lot of sense. And the beauty of um, landing cube is that we actually have Amazon attribution like set up within landing cube. So you could actually just uh, create a campaign within landing cube with the Amazon uh, attribution tag included. So uh, I already have an account set up on landing cube. So if you actually want to set up an Amazon attribution campaign, all you have to do is just go to um, Amazon attribution, go to a uh, new tag, and then you're going to select like three types, right? You're going to select uh, a landing page, a promo landing page, a product landing page, and single link. So basically the difference between this is that this allows you to collect uh, email and you're going to give them a coupon. This one is just like a landing page and basically it's just a funnel, um, whoever lands on landing page to the actual um, product listing page. And obviously the link would be the Amazon uh, attribution tag URL. And single link, so basically it uh, would be like this particular landing page, but it's with a single link. So what I like to do a lot of times is there would be like a promo landing page, right? Give them a reason to uh, purchase your product versus the other um, competitors within your niche. So what this does is that we're going to create a landing page and it basically would capture the audience email and then it's going to send them a coupon and with that coupon it's going to send them to your, your product listing. So let's click on this. Okay, so this is the product that we're selling and we're going to create a landing page out of it. There we go. So it was able to scrape uh, your product listing information. So let's say um, brand referral. 
bonus landing queue, uh, landing queue campaign. Again, so the beauty of uh, landing queue is that, you know, just a few clicks of one, I could create a very beautiful converting uh, landing page for your Amazon product, new campaign, and then the percentage off. So you could put like anything. So for me, uh, anything uh, around like 40, 30 to like 50%, would be uh, the amount that I would normally choose. So let's just say I put 40. Yeah, so it's uh, choose the template for you already. So you could um, either change it. So I like bolds. We also have like a time constraint, uh, basically to uh, egg the um, audience to uh, claim the code. Um, then you can see that we have like badge available from Amazon. So they know that it's gonna safe to purchase there. And uh, we scrape your first five um, uh, product images and then also uh, scrape the bullets and also your top five uh, reviews. So the beauty of it is actually next, right? For uh, Amazon brand referral. And uh, the next would be the integration part. And since you select our Amazon attribution uh, function uh, within landing queue, uh, you see, if you actually go to the next part uh, on the destination URL, you can see that uh, the destination URL is Amazon Attribution Beta. And uh, the ASIN, and also you can see the actual link, right? The Amazon Attribution link already created for you right here. So we connected uh, to your Amazon Attribution account via API connection and uh, create the actual uh, link for you specifically for this campaign. And then it creates a campaign within your uh, Amazon Attribution named this automatically. So it's very simple for you to actually create Amazon attribution campaigns using landing queue. So for me, so you could uh, choose for coupon, you could choose like two types of coupons. So single use, I'm not gonna go through how to create these. Um, so for group claim code, so let's just like do like one dummy one just for the sake of example. Publish, there you go. So this is your landing page. So let's go into the landing page. So let's just say I claim the code. I'm saying 10, five. There we go. So I got the coupon um, and then I would also get the audience email. And then when I click on redeem coupon, right, it would go to my Amazon attribution tag for me to get the brand referral bonus if the actual customer makes the purchase on this particular funnel. Right. So you can see like this part right here, these are like the Amazon attribution tag that Landing Cube has automatically created for me. Okay, that's it. So with the brand referral bonus, you get the 10% uh, of the sales back from your off Amazon uh, campaign initiatives, but use it with Landing Cube, you'll get all that plus also the audience email. That would be really neat, right? Getting like hitting three birds and basically with one stone. Okay, so um, that's basically it. In summary, Amazon brand referral, uh, you know, program is a very valuable tool for Amazon sellers because it allows them to tap into the power of the Amazon brand to gain that instant credibility for the off Amazon campaign. You know, with the Amazon attribution, it has like a very seamless integration and allows you to really like cross promote the rest of your catalog you know, by, you know, linking the Amazon's uh, brand store, like if you so choose. And also the 10% uh, bonus itself is a like cherry on top. And, um, you know, with participating in the program, uh, it will help you enhance your growth on Amazon. And you pair this with Landing Cube, you kind of create like a very powerful off Amazon funnel that compounds your customer email list as well. Lastly, if you're looking to grow your business and audience uh, using off Amazon traffic, check out Landing Cube. I think I did like a demo on how this is done specifically in using the actual brand referral bonus. We are an Amazon uh, specific uh, landing page builder uh, that allows you to collect emails and monitor off Amazon traffic, such as Google, Facebook, and Reddit ads. Sign up now for a 21 day free trial. Until the next video drop, happy selling.